Number 10. The Patient's Stone. The Patient's Stone is a 2012 French Afghan war drama film directed by Anik Rahimi, based on the novel by the same title written by Jean Claude Carrier. In a rundown room, a young woman in her 30s take care of her aged husband, who reduced into the status of a vegetable because of a bullet in the neck. The woman begins a solitary confession to her mute husband one day. She discusses her childhood, her suffering, disappointments, loneliness, dreams, and wishes, while she waits for her spouse to come back to life. She seeks asylum with her aunt, a prostitute and the only relative, who knows her situation. But after a week later, she falls into a relation with a young soldier, and begin to reveal the woman, who she had kept locked up deep inside, and ever since the day she was married. Number 9. Offside. The movie Offside is a 2006 Iranian film, directed by Jafar Panahi, and the film was filmed at an actual stadium during a qualifying match for the Iranian national team. Unfortunately this film banned in Iran. Offside follows a group of girls who disguised themselves as boys and sneaked into a crucial 2006 soccer match between Iran and Bahrain, where women are not permitted, because of the repressive separation of the gender in the Islamic Republic of Iran, where the girls are the ones who pay the price for men's rudeness and sexual deviance. Although some gate crashers slip by undetected, a half dozen are caught by army soldiers and taken to a holding area on the upper level of the stadium, where they are tortured by being able to hear the roar of the crowd, without being able to see what is happening in the match. Number 8. The Perfect Candidate the Perfect Candidate is a 2019 Saudi Arabian drama film directed by Haifa Al Mansair, since after her first film Wajda, Maryam, an aspiring young doctor working in a suburb clinic in Saudi Arabia. Her caliber as a doctor and a manager are undeniable, but sexism among men co-workers and patients who refuse to be treated by a woman are likely to thwart her efforts. When she tries to fly for a better job, she is denied permission to fly, because she is single and requires a current authorization signed by his father, who is sadly unavailable. Revolted by this travel ban, she decides to stand for municipal elections in her city. Her campaign begins to acquire traction, causing concern among male-dominated society. Number 7. The White Balloon The movie The White Balloon is a 1995 Iranian film directed by Jafar Panahi with a screenplay by renowned Iranian director Abbasky Harostami. The story follows Raisi, a seven-year-old sweet girl, who sets her heart on getting a goldfish which she has seen in the market. It's New Year's Eve in Tehran, and buying or catching a fish is a ritual. Raisi wants a new goldfish for her family's pond, but all the stores will close in 90 minutes for a week-long holiday. After she and her brother persuade their mother to give them the family's last 500 tomans, they must make it to the market on time but she loses the money on the way to the store. Number 6. Where is the Friend's Home? Where is the Friend's Home is a 1987 Iranian drama film directed and written by Abbasky Harostami, and the first of three interrelated films in his Coker trilogy. Ahmed, an eight-year-old kid returns home from school, realizes he has taken his friend's notebook by mistake. He tries to convince his mother of how serious the punishment would be if he doesn't return it. Not aware of the gravity of the situation, she refuses. Ahmed grabs the opportunity of buying bread to look for his friend's home. Without having friend's correct address, confused Ahmed, moved from door to door, asking people for directions. When he is unable to find his friend's home, Ahmed ends up doing the homework for his friend at night. Number 5. Bashu the Little Stranger Bashu the Little Stranger is an Iranian drama film directed by Barambizi in 1986, and was the first Iranian film to make use Chiliki, a northern language of Iran. During the Iran-Iraq War, Bashu, a young boy loses his house and all his family. Scared Bashu escapes on a cargo truck to a very different region in the north countryside, where everything from terrain to language is different. Nail woman whose husband has gone on a journey, finds Bashu in her farm and gives him shelter. After Bashu tells her of his past life, Nay accepts him as a son and tries to initiate him into the ways of life in the region. Number 4. The Color of Paradise Color of Paradise is an Iranian film directed by Majid Majidi in the late 20th century. The Color of Paradise tells us about a poor and widowed father, who does not want to take his blind child with him, because of the fear of the failure of a new marriage. 
The father sees in his son a ballast to curse, and it takes him to the mountains, to his grandmother. There, Mohammed is greeted by his sisters and grandmother who protect him and enjoying his presence. However, his father decides to separate him from his family, taking him and leaving him to a workshop where he will learn carpentry. Abandoned Mohammed confesses to the carpentry teacher, Nobody loves me, not even grandma. They're all running away from me because I am blind. The blind carpenter begins to mentor Mohammed. Gradually Mohammed adapts his new environment. Number 3. Turtles Can Fly Turtles Can Fly is a 2004 Kurdish war drama film written, produced, and directed by Bam and Gabadi, which spins a tender and grossing tale about the costs of war from the perspective of three Kurdish children. Soran nicknamed Satellite is a young kid who looks after a large group of children orphaned by war and for survival. The children deactivate and remove American landmines embedded in mountains and farmlands. Soran finds an armless boy, Hangov, his sister Agren, and a young child Riga have moved into town and threatened to take over his business. He gradually becomes more sympathetic, especially in a complicated, testy relationship with them. Number 2. Wajdha. Wajdha is a 2012 Saudi Arabian drama film, written and directed by Haifa Al Mansair, and the first feature length film made by a female Saudi director. The film bags the credit of very first Saudi Arabian film selected for Academy Awards in 2013. Wajda, a 10 year old girl with a free spirited and rebellious mind, lives with her conservative parents in Riyadh in Saudi Arabia. As a Muslim girl, she is relied upon to maintain an ethical person of femininity, which is important for the norms of a devout society. After a fight with her friend Abdullah, she wants a bicycle desperately so that she can beat Abdullah in a race. But Wajda's mother will not permit it because of the consequence from a society that sees bicycles as dangerous to a girl's morality. Her determination won't be crushed, and she does everything to achieve her goal. Number 1. Children of Heaven Children of Heaven is an introspective film written and directed by Majid Majidi, and was the first Iranian film to be nominated for an Academy Award in 1997. This film is a point in Saga of Ali, a nine-year-old boy from a poor family in Tehran, and his little sister Zahar. Zahar having only one pair of shoes, and while collecting groceries Ali accidentally misplaced the freshly repaired shoes. They hide the mishap from their parents because of fear and poverty, and devise a plan to share Ali's own pair of worn sneakers until they can find a new pair of shoes for Zahra. Ali come to know about a city marathon, and the third place finisher is to be awarded a pair of new shoes which rekindled his desire, and this leads to a highly dramatic climax.